In this morning's Eye on Earth, we're learning about the critical role sharks play in maintaining the underwater ecosystem. They are the top predator in the world's oceans, but there is still a lot we do not know about sharks. Some of the biggest questions around how they mate. Mark Phillips recently waded into that mystery for an up-close and personal encounter that can only happen in one place. Would you like to feel it? It is a shark captured by marine scientist Wes Pratt and Nick Whitney of the New England Aquarium. Shark petting is not something you often get asked to do in this line of work. Oh, he's lovely. Yeah. The shark is an unwilling part of an annual research study out on the dry tortugas, tiny specks of land 70 miles west of Key West, Florida. Every year, like clockwork, sharks gather here for their annual underwater mating dance. And the scientists gather as well to catch them. It's yeah. called extreme sight fidelity. They love this place. This is a, what, shark dating barb. It is, it's a singles bar for sharks. Yeah, this is the only place in the world where you can study shark mating behavior on a reliable basis. They've developed a sly technique, moving toward the sharks as they've got their minds on something else, and netting them. It's the kind of thing you better get right the first time. Nice. These are nurse sharks, not the most fearsome species, but they can still take a chunk out of you when disturbed. And this is the definition of disturbed. It's a bit rude. Yeah, we're, we're voyeurs, but... <laughs> but somebody has to do it. Before we started, almost nothing was known about shark mating behavior. This particular species is a window into that world. White sharks, blue sharks, hammerheads, all mate like this. And they're all threatened, landed as bycatch by fishermen, and caught deliberately for food in some parts of the world. Without enough sharks at the top of the food chain, the rest of the marine world is out of whack. So yes, sharks need our help, they need our understanding, uh, they, they need our research. Technology is helping that research, Wes and Nick not only tag the sharks, they attach cameras and instruments that track movement. The devices float to the surface after a few days, revealing whether the animal has found a partner. She's getting a little fed up. The sharks will only stand for all this handling for so long. Absolutely. Some, some are very calm and others are, are less so. We have one that uh, every time we catch has tried to bite me and I've named it after my sister. <laughs> and if catching them is tricky, try letting them go. The trick is to get him out of here. Anything I should be doing here? Just maybe stand back a little bit. <laughs> there he goes. So it's back to the shark singles bar in this day and age with selfies, of course. For CBS This Morning, I'm Mark Phillips in the Dry Tortugas. We know what, what marine scientists do. <laughs> I love Mark. I like Mark's translation of the science. The scientist called it an extreme sight fidelity, and he's like, you mean a shark dating bar? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs>